हॅलो डिअर स्टुडंट्स आय एम अजय करमरकर बिफोर प्रोसिडिंग फर्दर आय सजेस्ट यू वन थिंग प्लीज वॉच व्हिडिओ कम्प्लिटली सीट विथ कॉपी पेन इफ यू फाइंड सम वेअर इम्पॉर्टंट देन नोट इट अँड प्रोसिडिंग फर्दर इफ यू फाइंड सम डिफिकल्टीज देन प्लीज राईट इन कमेंट बॉक्स आय विल डेफिनेटली सॉल्व युअर प्रॉब्लेम अँड अलॉंग विथ प्लीज लाईक शेअर अँड सबस्क्राईब माय चॅनल दॅट कॅन रीच मोर अँड मोर स्टुडंट्स थँक यू Let's move on what the question says a thin and uniform rod of mass capital M and length capital L is held vertical on a floor with large friction the rod is released from rest so that it falls by rotating about its contact point with the floor without slipping which of the following statement is are correct means multiple choice question when the rod makes an angle 60 degree with vertical and small g is the acceleration due to gravity and you have given four option the radial acceleration of the rod's center of mass will be 3g by 4 option b the angular speed of the rod will be root 3g by 2l and the angular acceleration of the rod will be 2g by l and the normal reaction force of the floor on the rod will be mg by 60 okay let us first we have to discuss about central points of this question you have given this rod which having the length is l and mass is capital m okay without slipping it's like rotating or moving like that making angle is 60 degree in that case we have to find out all this value then first of things you can see that their loss of potential energy convert into kinetic energy rotational kinetic energy so here we can take this is the basic concept of central point of this question so now we have to apply this kinetic energy rotational kinetic energy rotational kinetic energy equal to loss of loss of potential energy okay this is the basic idea what is the rotational kinetic energy 1 by 2 i omega square and uh, initial potential energy is uh, mg capital n g and uh, height you can take it always center of mass from center of mass what is the center of mass of this rod is l by 2 okay and minus after making 60 degree you can see that this distance what is this distance we can draw separately let us consider here this is the l by 2 and this is 60 so this remaining angle is 30 and we have find out this distance this distance means sin 30 equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse sin 30 is 1 by 2 and l by 2 then p means height height then it become l by 4 equal to h so now mg l by 4 this is the loss of kinetic energy now 1 by 2 what is the moment of inertia of the rod at the end end means this consider this point is considered like hinge you are well known that about what is the hinge the point where any object will move that point is called hinge so here we can consider hinge means end and that type formula you can use m l square by 3 okay and at the center you are well known that m l square by 12 so here at the center but here we have to using ml square by 3 and omega square what is the mg get common then l by 2 minus l by 4 then mg taking the lcm is 4 2l minus l then it become mg l by 4 here capital m capital m okay and now here m l square by 6 omega square 
1 L 1 L cancel out M cancel out omega square equal to 6 G by 4 and this L shifted in denominator of right side then 2 to the 4 2 to the 6 then omega can be written as root 3 G by 2 L let's see which option is correct in matches you can see that second option yes B is correct omega equal to root 3 G by 2 L now you are well known about that relation between linear acceleration and angular velocity that is the formula is a equal to omega square r this formula we have to using and uh, linear acceleration or radial acceleration then radial acceleration equal to omega square and distance in the place of r we have to put this distance means from the hinges and center of mass what is the distance l by 2 so we have substitute here l by 2 so okay then what is the value of omega we have already find out omega square equal to root 3 g by 2 l whole square equal to l by 2 then ar become this root and uh, square cancel out 3 g by 2 l and l by 2 l l cancel 3 g by 4 let's see which option matches to this answer you can see that a option is correct a r equal to 3 g by 4 now for find out the alpha you can use the formula of tau around the a then tau equal to i into alpha here the tau making the angle with 60 degree so here mg is the force and the distance is l by 2 making angle 60 degree means sin 60 what is the i at the end of the hinges m l square by 3 and alpha <coughs> m m cancel out and uh, g this is a 1L cancel out, 1L is remaining, here 3G, 2L, sin 60 equal to alpha. So, here alpha is not matching, so therefore C is incorrect. Now, further, we can check the last part also. Now for the tangential acceleration can be written as alpha into distance. What is the distance? L by 2. Then alpha as we have to find out this is the alpha. Substitute this value 3g by 2l sin 60 into L by 2. This L cancel out 3g by 4 sin 60. This is the tangential. Okay. So, here we have to find out the tangential acceleration 3g by 4 sin 60. For the resultant normal force, you can see that here normal force is acting upward direction and this mg act downward direction. Then resultant is uh, mg minus n equal to m into radial acceleration cos component and tangential sin component ok now mg minus n equal to m what is the value of a we have already find out 3g by 4 and what is the value of cos 60 1 by 2 what is the value of 80 80 means acceleration tangential 3g by 4 sin 60 this is the 80 and sin 60 again this is only value of 80 remember huh now mg minus n equal to m 3g by 8 
3g by 4 sin 60 is root 3 by 2 again sin 60 is root 3 by 2 mg minus n equal to m 3g by 8 root 3 root 3 3 3 3 is a 9g and 4 to the 8 to the 16 now mg minus n equal to m Taking the LCM 16, 3 to the 6 and 9, 15 G. Then 15 mg by 16 mg minus n. And we have to find out then the whole value is transposing at the left side. The minus 15 by 16 mg equal to n. Then 16 mg minus 15 mg, the normal force can be mg by 16 so hit, we can check normal force is mg by 16 so last option d option is also correct so overall a b and d options are correct i hope so you understand this question thank you for staying till the ends of this video and yes let me remind you again don't forget to subscribe this channel that can you get the information for the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.